Tack. Eh, först och främst, grattis till eh, AIK. Välförtjänt. Eh, nivåskillnaden var stor idag. Och det syns i allting idag tycker jag med tempo och, och spelmässigt också idag. Och när det blir hårdare tempo så fick vi det svårare med allting med passningar och, och val. Och vi gör det här på plan. Så att, eh, nej. Grattis. Stor skillnad. Tack så mycket. Andreas. Tack för det. Vi är glada förstås att gå vidare. Jag tycker att VPS är bättre defensivt idag än vad de var kanske på hemma borta plan i Finland. Neutral plan. Det tog en stund för oss att luckra upp det. De täckte bra i sidled i bredden. Um, och uh, det tog en stund för oss. Första, första tio i andra halvlek var vi, det var vår sämsta period och det är klart med de country sparkar som uh, VPS lägger upp hade varit lite mer kvalitet då hade vi haft uh, att kunna skapa lite på oss. Men totalt sett så blir det en bra match. Uh, vi har spelare som får göra mål och vi har spelare som får vara med och hålla nollan igen. Uh, inte minst Oskar då. Uh, förstås uh, från er och alla mycket fokus på honom så att, uh, det är gott att få hålla nollan på hemmaplan. Tack. Tack. Då kör vi frågor. Tack. 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 Det finns ingen snack om det var, det var stor skillnad idag faktiskt. Det var betydelsefullt bättre att vi var 2-0 målet som kom ganska tidigt i andra. Ja, det är lite som Alm säger här att, att jag tyckte vi kom in bra i andra halvlek. Och vi hade en bra period där och den dog egentligen där med det målet. För att, och det var ganska avgörande i det skedet. Jag säger att det var avgörande om vi vinner eller förlorar, men det kändes tungt i det skedet. Vi hade en bra period och så gör vi ett dåligt val och så blir det mål av det. Sen i första halvlek hade vi, hade vi också förstås problem och de gjorde mål första 15, men att eh, största problemet tyckte jag i första halvlek var deras kantspel och hur de kom in där och kom in och sköt med från kanterna. Så att det gjorde de bra. Same thing in, in English, please. It's okay. Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> um, yes, we had a good um, start of second half. We thought that if we can keep nil nil in the beginning of the game, and, and but we didn't. But we, if we would have, and then we could have started the second half like we did. And I think we had a good start. And but then the second goal killed it a little bit. Because you could see at the boys that they got into the game and we could attack quite good. But that 2 0 goal wasn't good for that one. First half, we struggled a little bit with them wingers coming in, shooting and overloading and, and so on. One against one. And big area to defend one against one for our fullbacks. What about Mr. Alma? Why do why you, why you were better than previously? I think the, the first 20 minutes uh, we used, uh, maybe not Johan as much as we did with uh, Niklas on the other side, Eliasson. Uh, but that's okay, but then we stop when, when we start hitting them good, like a boxer. We start hitting them and they like get a bit injured and then we switch and stop doing it. And of course then they recover. They got a bit dizzy. We went for the head and then we start hitting the like in the stomach and they got back and more concentration and throughout the half they, they like got back into the game and started the second half in a good way. So it's as always if you start like if you if the opponent is starting to bleed then it's better to go at the same spot again. But we stop and that's not I don't think that will be um, uh, a way to, to win in the end. So we need to be better at that. Just give Niklas the ball and then Johan has to adjust to that and be without the ball for a longer time and uh, he's still our friend. So we don't like, no worries.
I'm going to well speak some. Um, do you want us to do this in English for your sake? Yeah. I think that's better, yeah. to be friendly against you. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, Niklas played a good game. He has, uh, the first goal is from him, started with him, uh, well, it's not starting, but the last pass uh, before the goal is from him. And throughout the game, and for 90 minutes, he's really good. He's quick and he's good, and you want to take on the, play, the fullbacks 1v1. So I'm happy, really happy with that. And it's also good when Nabil is leaving just a, uh, just a day ago. It's good that our wingers are, are eager to, to perform straight away. Is it for me? Yeah. Uh, well, it, it's hard. You, you want to like let him do what he usually does. He's a guy. He, he talks a lot, right? Yep. He talks a lot, and of course, when you got a lot of new impressions, you talk about them. And sometimes it can sound a bit naive, like talks about it, but still, it's still him. So it's that balance to keep him doing what he did, but still, like okay, adjust a few things. I think we pulled him off. From the from the supporters a bit earlier than we would have done otherwise so he won't be singing there for the whole night so that's that's the balance uh, of course to like stay because he's going to perform on sunday again and then thursday again and probably next sunday too so it's to, to be himself with his whole character but also to adjust a few things and, and grab him and tell him it's like okay enough is enough you are Unusual game for you, you started out as, uh, on the left side as a winger and you ended the game as a defender. What was it like to adjust like that? No, it's okay. Um, I've played on the left side a lot before, so it's no problem. And uh, right back is also okay. It's not that different from right midfielder, so yeah, it was no problem. On the Nokia, bravo. Tack, jag är för då. Tack. Tack. Tack.